Hey guys, it's Army Tricks from Game Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my Steam Machine. So, what you just saw there was my custom built Steam Machine. This thing was built off my old computer and is basically a normal computer which I installed Steam OS Beta on. Currently, Steam OS Beta is available to download for anyone, so I'll leave a link in the description if you want to install it on a spare PC you may have lying around. You can install any Linux compatible game on it and use a wired Xbox 360 controller or PS3 controller right out of the box, no software required. But I did make sure it worked wirelessly through some terminal hacks. One of the greatest aspects of SteamOS is that you can stream a game directly from a PC. So the PC handles the graphics grunt and your Steam box can just display the video feed while you play from the comfort of your living room. As well as this, you can connect any amount of controllers as long as the game you're playing is compatible and play with literally an endless amount of people at any one time. It also has a simple web browser and has standard features such as shutdown, restart and sleep modes. You can also enable desktop mode from settings to access a Linux Debian based desktop interface in which you can use a terminal and install programs like Skype. There were, though, two small bugs I ran into while testing SteamOS out. Sound did not work at first, but this was fixed through some coding magic, and something that I couldn't resolve was that some games crashed and it loaded back into the Steam menu at random times, when it wasn't even using that much power or there was no reason for it to crash. This seems to have been fixed after the latest patch, though. This is some gameplay of Awesome Noughts which you're watching right now, and as you can see there are no errors and the game runs perfectly smoothly. This is because I did follow Valve's hardware recommendations when building one of these. I have a NVIDIA GeForce GT430, an Intel Core 2 Quad, and a UEFI enabled Gigabyte motherboard. So that's it for my overview of my Steam Machine and Steam OS Beta as a whole. There's not much work left to be done and I do expect the official release of a Steam Box sometime first or second quarter of 2015. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and if you haven't already, subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you next time, goodbye.